Hey folks, Bob Warfield here from CNC Cookbook. I just want to do a quick video here to show you how to use the spindle power curves in uh, GWizard Calculator. So basically they're accessed over here on the setup page. Uh, we have different machine profiles. You select the machine that you want to update. Um, and then you go to spindle horsepower down here and these are the values we're talking about adjusting. Um, you can set your maximum spindle horsepower. I just have a number of 20 horses uh, dialed in here. This will of course convert over to metric if you select metric mode and you'll be looking at kilowatts. Um, click the adjust button and these are your spindle power curve adjustments that are available. So let's look at each one. Uh, by default uh, there is no spindle curve adjustment and uh, what this means is you, you GWizard will assume as it's making its calculations that you have your maximum spindle power available at all RPMs. Now that's actually not a very reasonable estimate. Uh, most machines the power will vary with RPM. They may have a pretty flat curve but it's seldom if ever uh, will be completely flat. So uh, there's value in adjusting your spindle power curve so the G-Wizard understands the real shape of the curve. Uh, now there's two different adjustment modes available. One is uh, a weight adjusted horsepower uh, for smaller hobby machines. And in that mode the system actually uses the information uh, given by your machine's weight uh, as well as uh, your travels which determines the envelope that your machine can work in to try to figure out how rigid the machine is. You know, obviously this is a rough estimate but it's based on some uh, studies that were done around sort of what these metrics look like for typical vertical machining centers. And so what it does is it adjusts your horsepower down from whatever its maximum may be to a number that would allow your very much smaller uh, hobby machine to operate in it with a rigidity that's comparable to a small VMC. You know, the, the rigidity is only one part of the factor. How hard you push against that rigidity, which is determined by your spindle power, is another factor. And so uh, if you dial back a small machine enough, uh, you can really begin to, to approach uh, uh, much better results with that machine. Now the more common uh, adjustment we'll make, and, and these by the way are typically pretty small machines where you would do this. Uh, a little uh, Sieg maybe or a, a Sherlin or a, or a Tag uh, would be appropriate for this. A machine say the size of a Tormach, uh which is still a pretty small machine uh, is already at the rigidity uh, parameters that we want. So you wouldn't use this adjustment for a machine like that. Uh, but what you might use is the curve compensation. So in this model you get to add uh, a number of different data points here uh, that determine your spindle curve. And so let's just we'll clear the table and we'll add some points. Uh, so let's say at zero RPM we have zero uh, at, uh, oh, let's say we go down very low, 100 RPM, we have our 20 horsepower, okay, at, uh, I don't know, let's say we go to 6,000 RPM, uh, and we wind up with uh, 18 horsepower, okay, so we'll add that, and then let's just say our, our maximum horsepower is going to be, uh, 8,000 and at 8,000 since that's our maximum we're going to say we've got zero horsepower. Okay so here's a rough depiction of our power curve and you can add more data points if you like uh, to make that work out a little better. You can experiment with it a little bit down here with this little calculator so it's saying at 300 uh, RPM I have 19 about 20 horsepower at 3,000 I have still got about 19 horsepower at 5,000 it's starting to drop down to 18.3. So those are horsepower uh, power curves and uh, they're very useful. Uh, you want to be sure to save the machine profile like so uh, after you've made changes to it.
and uh, if we now go back into our uh, feeds and speeds uh, it will adjust the horsepower limits based on what actual horsepower is being used uh, which is a very handy thing indeed. Okay, that's our video. Thanks very much.